See, there's a lot of good and a lot of bad with Impact. One pro is it has a click GUI which is more user friendly. See, people don't want to type out everything in chat because it really gets annoying. So the Click GUI is a handy tool to customize all of your hacks. The biggest con by far is probably that you cannot use flight. Flight gets you kicked immediately. I lasted seven frames and I got kicked for flight. The thing is, flight is very good until you have an Elytra. And when you have an Elytra, you're in the late game and you've escaped out of spawn. So I don't think you'll need the flight anymore. The thing is, flight is very good for getting out of spawn. So it's a pretty big con. What's a really big pro though, is that if you manage to get to a place where you don't need flight, it has built-in baritone integration, which is basically an AI for Minecraft that can find the best path to your location. Here I just kind of demonstrated, I didn't actually like use it very much. In my first 9 and 90 adventures, you can see me using it a lot. So Baritone is very good. You can download it as a standalone mod, but with Seppuku it does not work. So Impact has a plus on that one. See, I didn't show all of the hacks, just the important ones. There is of course your classic hacks, your ESP, your wall hacks, your x-ray, and stuff like that. But what's a really good hack is no fall catch. In my first 9b9 t adventures video, I used no fall catch when I accidentally turned off scaffold. If I didn't use no fall catch, I would be dead. So it's a very useful hack for getting out of spawn and it's a very useful hack in the nether because one wrong step and you'll fall into a pit of lava. See, Seppuku is a client made for 9b9 t, so it's gotta be good. It's packet fly, is very fast, which gives it a plus. It doesn't have a click GUI, which makes it not noob friendly, so that's a con. Well, it sort of has a click GUI, but it's called the hub, so not really. It just shows you useful information like the TPS, the lagometer, and your speed, and also it has the area list, but you cannot turn on any hacks from there, so you need to use the chat. Do dot modules, and there are all of your modules, and then you need to set them up in the chat, so it can be confusing at first. It also has mediocre bunny hop speed, uh, it lags you back half the time, so I don't think you should use it. It has strafe though, which is really good. Yeah, so it has your classic hacks, your ESP, your wall hacks, but it doesn't have no fall catch, which really sucks because if you accidentally turn off safe walk, you're basically dead. So, you know, it doesn't have a click GUI, doesn't have no fall catch, but it is made for 9 b 9 t has 9 b 9 t exclusive hacks. And also, its packet fly is very, very fast and works on 9 b 9 t and does not get you lagged back. It also works with timer, which makes it amazing. But a big minus is that you cannot use baritone with it, which sucks because baritone is a really, really useful tool when getting out of spawn and when just exploring to find something. This client is by far the best one out of all of these. I know it costs money, but it's a good client for the price. Once you get past the confusing names of the hacks, for example, SafeWalk is actually called Sneak, and for some reason, it's in the miscellaneous section instead of the move-in section. But I digress. The packet fly needs the right settings, and if you'll stick around to the end, I will show you them. The packet fly isn't as fast as Seppuku's, but it's almost as fast, and also works with timer. I was wrong when I said the packet fly on Seppuku doesn't lag you back. It does. Quite frequently, actually. In this clip though, you can see me fly about 50 to 100 blocks without being lagged back or the chunk stop loading. Everything is smooth. The click GUI is slick, fancy, and even has a click GUI for baritone, which doesn't have one itself in its own mod. These guys are technical geniuses. Honestly, I could go on and on about how great this clan is, but I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll just give you my conclusion. Overall, I think the best out of all of these will be future, but if you don't have the money or you just don't want to pay money for a block game client, then I suggest seppuku. I know it's missing no fall catch, which is a big pain, but overall it's made for 9b and the fly is faster. Once you've got yourself established with gear in Elytra, you don't need the fly speed, so I suggest switching to impact because you can have the baritone find stuff for you, or just walk. So that's my video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for over 1k views and 60 likes on my last video. Let's try to break at least 20 this time. Anyways, be sure to stay safe out there. Oh, and also, here are the settings for future fly. You can use Factor 1, which is more consistent with lag, or Factor 2, which is faster, but can lag you back.